his face shine upon and be gracious to the Lord turn his Lord. face toward you and give you peace love this it's the benediction let's just sing that again beautiful
right now, wherever you're at, right now, just open up your hands. We declare this over you, your marriage, your family, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. Yes, Lord. Declare the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause His face to shine on you. The Lord cause your face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord be gracious to me. The Lord give peace to you. The Lord peace to me. Declare it over you, over your family and for future generations. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He We're... who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. You are my refuge. You are my refuge. You are my fortress. You are my fortress. You are my strong tower. You are my strong tower. surround them with your favor as a shield. Just release that blessing over those that call upon the name of the Lord, that his favor would be a shield upon you. Lord, surely you bless the righteous. You surround them, Lord Jesus, with your favor as a shield. It encircles us, Father. It guards us. It protects us. Lord Jesus, your favor is our protection. Your favor, Lord, is our provision. Lord Jesus, we declare grace, 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 grace upon every family, upon every mountain, upon anything attempting to overshadow us in this moment. We declare grace, 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 grace. We speak it, Lord, into our homes. We speak it into our relationships. We speak it, Lord, into this moment of time. Grace, grace to the mountain. To our nation in this hour, grace, grace to the mountain of Corona. We declare grace, grace to leaders, to business owners, to employees. To this week, we declare grace, grace, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, release your grace to us in this hour. In the name of Jesus. 
Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. He will exalt you. He will bestow grace upon you. You will find grace in your time of need. You will find and discover grace, 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 a spirit of grace, the power of his grace in our weakness, Lord. We boast in your grace. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your grace, Lord. We pray, Lord, for our leaders, for national leaders, for our state officials, for our city leaders, Lord, municipal leaders, Lord, for teachers and principals, Father, for business owners and leaders, Lord Jesus, for doctors and nurses, Lord Jesus. We declare grace to everyone, grace that provides wisdom, grace that provides direction, grace, Lord, upon our minds, grace, Lord, upon our decisions, grace, Lord Jesus, to actively partner with you, Holy Spirit, in this time, Lord, to meet the needs of people. Lord, as authoritative pastors, leaders, shepherds, put grace upon them, Lord, to respond to you, to respond to your voice. Lord, we declare grace, grace, grace. Just feel it ringing in my heart, Lord, that we shout grace, grace to the mountains. Zechariah 2. Grace to the mountains that are before us. Put it in our hearts. Just in our time of need, I see many of us remembering and recalling this prayer this week. And all of a sudden we stand up not knowing what to do and we just shout grace. We shout grace. We shout grace. And the Holy Spirit will meet us. When fear comes, we shout grace to fear. When the unknown comes, we shout grace to it. It's all we know to do is to declare our dependence upon God, dependence upon Yahweh, dependence upon the God that answers us. In our time of need, we find grace. Oh, I feel it's the word of the hour. Literally the word of the hours. Grace! Grace! We need it, Lord, in our lives. We need it upon our minds. We need it upon our hearts. We need it upon our hands. We need it upon our finances. We need it upon our parenting. Lord, we declare grace, grace, grace. Feel the Holy Ghost. Be a born and a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children. May a favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children oh grace great grace yes lord we find we find peace in your grace lord we find all that we need lord grace meets us exactly when we need it lord grace, Lord, your divine intervention into our weakness so that we can find your strength. Lord, release grace. Release grace. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the weak say I'm strong. Lord, this is the power of your grace. In our weakness, we find your strength, your strong flex, your strong arm. Your arm is not too short. 
we love you, Lord. We entrust ourselves to you. Let's just pray over fear. Just break fear off. Yeah. Yeah, right now, I just want to speak to those two things. I mean, Zechariah 4, he commands Zerubbabel in the building of the house. So many obstacles. He says, shout grace to the mountain. Jesus in Matthew 21, he's teaching us in prayer. He said, speak to mountains. Command them to be uprooted and cast into the sea. Some of you have that mountain of fear standing right in front of you. That paralyzing fear that grips your heart. We're going to speak to the mountain right now. We're going to shout grace and we're going to command the mountain of fear to be uprooted and cast into the sea. So Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ, we take our stand in Christ. 